When somebody watches your video on YouTube, when they get to the end of the video, they are either going to watch the video that YouTube suggests next, or they're going to pick something from the sidebar or from their homepage and continue watching YouTube. So what you want them to do is actually keep watching one of your videos. As a creator here on YouTube, that is your ultimate goal is to keep people watching your channel. And what if I told you there is an easy way for you to get them to do that? That is using YouTube end screens. Let's talk about that in this video. So hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Ken from KenTheContentCoach.com. And again, in this video, we're going to talk about YouTube end screens and how you can use those to hopefully keep people on your channel watching as many videos as possible. So YouTube end screens are the screens that show in the last 20 seconds or so of a video that you'll see. A lot of times they look like this. Now, this one is not real, so don't try to click on that, but you've seen these before. This actually directs a user to another video, another playlist, whatever you choose in your video. Now, there are many ways you can use YouTube end screens. You can use them to direct the viewer to a specific video that you choose. You can use them to direct to a specific playlist. You can direct them to a subscribe button so that they will subscribe to your channel, which if you haven't done so yet, I would appreciate that here. If you're into this type of content, of course, you can actually direct them to another channel of your choosing. Or you can even, if you're in the partner program, you can use links. So you can link to things like your Amazon store, your website, or any other external link. Again, you have to be in the partner program for links. But those are the ways that you can use end screens. So there are many ways you can use end screens. How you use them is all going to depend on your strategy and what you figure out works for your audience. Now, as far as how I use them, I am going to show you that. So stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere. But first, let me show you how to add them to your videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different times you can use end screens. And that's going to be during the upload of the video initially, or you can go back to YouTube studio and you can add end screens to a video that you have previously uploaded. So we're going to start with a brand new video. Now, this is a video that I uploaded for the purposes of this demonstration. Now, you would, of course, want to make sure that you add your title, your description, add your thumbnail, your playlist, do all the stuff that we're supposed to do on YouTube, make sure that you add your tags, all that stuff. When you're finished with that on the first page, you want to hit next. After you click next, you have the options for add subtitles, add an end screen, add cards. So we're looking at added end screen. So we're going to click add here. And you'll notice that it's going to bring you up to a screen where you can see the video. It's actually at the end of your video. And there's a marker here for the last 20 seconds. Now, the end screens have to be in the last 20 seconds or less. They don't have to be the full 20 seconds. I'll show you how to adjust that. But they do come up in the last 20 seconds. So you want to make sure that when you are filming your video, you want to plan accordingly for how you're going to add your end screens in. So what I'm going to do is show you the different ways that we can do this now. What you'll want to do is click element right here at the top. And again, we have the options video, playlist, subscribe, channel. Again, if you're in the partner program, you'll have the link open. So we're going to go video. And you have the options of most recent upload, best for viewer, or choose specific video. These options actually allow YouTube to choose here your most recent. So this would be your last video that you did. You could also go best for viewer. This would allow YouTube to select a video based on that viewers actual viewing preferences, kind of the things they normally watch, or you can choose a specific video. Now I'm going to choose a specific video so that I can show you how this works next. If you choose most recent upload or best for viewer, then there's nothing else you have to do. YouTube is going to do this after while people are watching the video. So let's go choose specific video and you can literally pick any video in your playlist. Now I'm going to show you again how I do this here shortly, but let's just pick any of these. Let's pick up, you know, this thumbs up.tv video. So I'm going to add that. Now you will see right here on the video, this actually showed up. Now you have a kind of a gray box area. This shows you the area that you have to place that in screen. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up to the top. And then down here at the bottom, you can actually drag to the portion of the video that you want it to be in. So again, it's 20 seconds by default. What you would want to do is figure out where in the video in that last 20 seconds that you wanted to start. Let's say that I want it to start here. So then what I would do is actually grab this blue line and you can drag that around to fit that exactly where you want that to be. And now when I hit save up here, that end screen will be saved to start at that specific moment in the video. So I'll just play this here. And there you go. That end screen popped up exactly when I set it to. Now you can add more than one end screen. So actually let's go add another one. And the way that we would do that is click element. And so then again, you can choose any of these. I'm going to choose the subscribe button. And then you'll see basically your channel logo will pop up. This is the subscribe button. I'll just leave that right there. 
Usually what I like to do is make sure that they start at the same moment. So I'm just going to drag that down so that it is even with the other element. So then that way, when the video is playing, you'll see them both pop up at the same time. And so they both popped up there. Now what the subscribe button does is it simply gives the viewer an opportunity to subscribe just by clicking right there. That's all that button does. Whenever you're done, whenever you're happy with where your end screens are, just hit save. And those are now saved. You see a green check mark. Now you would hit next and you would finish uploading that video. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to add in screens to a video that is already uploaded. For me, that's usually live streams because you don't have the opportunity to add in screens during a live stream. So to show you this, I'm going to go over to a new tab. Now I'm in YouTube studio. The way that you add in screens is to go to YouTube studio, click content on the left side. This will take you to your list of videos. Now I'm on my lives. Let's scroll down. I want to find this video here. So we will actually edit this one. The way that you add in screens, we're gonna click this pencil icon to edit the video. So we'll click there. Now the next screen that you do see here, this looks sort of like the video upload. What we'll wanna do over on the right side is go to end screen and click there. Now from here, it's sort of the same setup. This works exactly the same. We'll click end screen and you'll have a cursor here in the last 20 seconds. Now this is where you would wanna time the way that this works and I'll show you what I mean. So for my live streams, I actually use a image at the end of it that's a placeholder for these end screens so that I can come back and edit. So what I'm gonna actually do is add elements, right? So I'm gonna go add an element. Let's go video. In this case, I'll just say best for viewer. So I'll let YouTube choose the next video for the viewer. And I'm gonna drag to this side because this is a way that I have it set up for my live streams. I wanna add another element. And this time let's go playlist. So I'll click playlist and then I'll choose a playlist. I'll go ahead in this case and just add the rest of my live streams. So you'll see that there. And then I'm going to drag this over so that it's on this side. Now I'm going to add one more element and it's going to be the subscribe button. Again, I kind of have a placeholder for that. So I'm going to drag that where I want it. We'll drop it right there. Now we have to time it. So basically the way that my live streams end, I wanna make sure that I actually time this so that these elements pop in at exactly the right moment. So let's go watch the end of this real quick. And that's actually timed pretty well already. I'm gonna drag that over just a little bit. Let's watch it again. And you can see the timing that happens, right? Basically when that end screen is there, then those elements pop in right at that moment. And that is exactly what you're looking for. So that's how you add in screens. Very simple to do. It's always easier to do it on the upload, but if you are not able to do it, for example, in a live stream, it's also easy to go back and edit and add your in screens as you go. Okay, so how do I use in screens? Now, first I wanna say it's very important to me to create a chain of videos that are relevant. So as I go through my videos, every time that I upload, I try to think of one of my videos that are there that are relative to the current video that the viewer's watching. And I'll use that as an end screen. So then basically what happens as somebody comes along and starts watching my videos, then what they're gonna do is see this video, the end screen's gonna show them a video that is related to this video and on and on and on so that every time that they're watching a video, hopefully the next one grabs their attention. Now you can check analytics to see how well your end screens are doing. That's in the advanced mode of your analytics. And I will do a video on that at some point. And I say that for two reasons. First of all, the analytics are very important because you can use that information to tweak the way that you're using end screens so that you can get your audience what they want through those end screens. Secondly, the way that I'll use that end screen is that I will then point back to this video when I do that video so that that'll keep that chain of videos going and hopefully people will continue to watch my videos. So now here we are. How do I use end screens? Well, if you watch this next video, this video will show you how the research tab, which has now been added to analytics, will show you exactly what your audience wants. So check out that video there. This is exactly how I use in screens. Hopefully this video has helped you. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Just hit record and we'll see you with the next video.